Hey, Grandpa. Hey, Tim. Am I got the top of my head cut off again? Uh, no, you're you're good. You're good. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Maybe move it up just a little bit for you. But well, I, have, I have a little banner that went across there, and I couldn't see myself. And yeah, I no, I'm, you're okay. Did I disappear into the? Well, hey, today is November fourth. This video is going to be uploaded uh, today because you have one more day to vote. And today is all about should Christians vote for Donald Trump. And mm -hmm. we're going to try to convince you that you should, and that it yes. is not only the right thing to do, it's the dutiful thing to do, and it's the moral thing to do. Isn't that right, Grandpa? I agree with that wholeheartedly. Yeah, because this has been on my heart these last few days, especially with all the yeah. talk about, uh, you know, if I listen to the reports on the news about how Kamala is tied or ahead in all these states, and I'm thinking... Believers, you know what she stands for. You know what kinds of things she does. You know what kinds of things she says. How in the world could believers be voting for Kamala? That not, to men not, not to mention, Donald Trump lost the Electoral College by about 80,000 votes last time. And apparently there's about 30 million evangelicals who have decided not to vote. And so that's a really big problem. Churches have decided not to be engaged in politics. Churches have decided, hey, we're just, you know, God's on the throne. It doesn't really care if babies are getting murdered and women and children are being sex trafficked across the border. God's on the throne. We only preach the gospel. And yet, I believe that we have a duty to, to vote and to throw our hat in the ring, but also to be salt and light. You talked about a while ago in Matthew 5, when Jesus says, you're the salt of the earth. Yep. One, salt prevents decay and so we're supposed to vote for the policy or platform not for the perfect candidate because our vote is not a valentine we aren't professing our love for the candidate but we're moving a chess piece for the world that we want to live in and that means voting for the platform that's going to prevent decay the most not only that we're not just voting for a, a, a person we're voting for the five thousand people that that person will put in place to run the government so yes. do we want someone who is a friend of Christians like Donald Trump, or do we want someone who's a complete enemy of Christians who changes Easter to the transgender day of awareness like Joe Biden? Yeah, well, it's it's unbelievable to me. Uh, first of all, to those who say, well, you know, we only deal with spiritual things and this is not a spiritual thing. And therefore, we don't, our, our church and our people don't get involved in this thing. I want to ask you. I'm sorry, son. Camera. Look at the camera. Oh. Uh, I, I, I want to ask you, why does God leave you in this world after you're saved? Once you're saved, you are as ready for heaven mm. as you're going to be. You can't get more qualified. Yes, you can become more holy, but you're already qualified. The day that you receive Jesus, you can go to heaven like that. So, But he doesn't take us to heaven. He leaves us in this world. Why? Jesus said to his disciples, Lord, I, I pray for them. They are not of the world, but they are in the world. Being in the world, we need to interact with this world. How? We need to interact in the way that God has provided and told us to interact. God, Tim said, God said we're the salt. We're the salt of the earth. Salt is only effective when it's applied. It was applied for thousands of years as a way to keep meat from getting rotten. Salt applied to our society will help delay the rottenness of our society. And if you don't think our society is getting more rotten, I want to be kind. Come out from under your rock and look yeah. around. Okay. Should Christians vote? Yes. Also in Matthew chapter 22, Jesus says, render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's. Voting is a Caesar thing. So Jesus is, is telling you to vote. And then he's telling you to vote as salt, which delays the decay. And God leaves you here so that you will be available to do that. If you hide yourself away in your church or your prayer closet, and I'm saying that prayer isn't wonderful. It is. It's effective and it's necessary. But it's not the end. Every time, every time the Lord did something for his people, Israel, for example, he said, the land is yours. What did they do? They just moved in and they set up their tents and sipped their pina coladas and, you know, had a wonderful... No, they had to take some action and take the land. 
Every time God gives us something to do, he wants us to take physical steps in this world doing it. Yes, yeah, there, there was a time. I, I, I beg you, honor the, honor the Lord. Honor the Lord and follow what he's directed you to do. There, there was a time where David had to pick up the stone and actually slay Goliath. And some Christians yeah. would have said, oh, no, don't don't get involved in that. Or uh, why don't you just pray about it? But no, this is our time to pick up the stone. And we're not called to the results. We're called to be to our duty. And I just want to give you some reasons to vote for Donald Trump right now. One, yeah, and I have good. Go ahead. Yeah. One, no new wars. No new wars under Trump. We had peace in the Middle East. Russia didn't take any land in, U in the Ukraine. And we were pulling out of Afghanistan. Under Biden, 13 members of our military died under Biden because the pullout of Af Afghanistan was terrible. Uh, we have war in the Middle East. Hamas attacked Israel. And now Russia attacked Ukraine. Uh, yeah. Donald Trump's policy was peace through strength. Second, he's the most pro-life president in American history. Now, some of people will say, well... He supports some some abortion. Right. I understand that. I wish he was more pro-life. However, overturning Roe v. Wade and also he gives ears to Christians. He gives a, a platform to Christians in his White House. And so yes. maybe God will move in that. Third, border. We had strong border security under Donald Trump. God defines borders and God makes nations and borders are good. And so we need to fix our immigration system. Fourth. Trans, Donald Trump will stop men from playing in women's sports. He will also make it illegal for children to go through sex changes. That yeah. is a very good thing. Especially sex changes that the parents don't know about until they've already happened. Exactly. The way California wants to do things. Yeah. You know, and the, on the no new wars topic, what does the scripture say? Blessed are the peacemakers. Mm-hmm. That is a big time piece of right God. there. So those are all biblical reasons why I've given you why you should vote for Donald Trump. Now, Grandpa, share the scripture about Isaiah forty four before we before we sign off here. Oh, good. I will. I will share that. Let me get it up here so I can read it. Let me find it here. Uh, about Cyrus the Great, to, who was a Gentile it. king, who uh, God used. And maybe Cyrus wasn't the most well spoken, or maybe Cyrus was the well, you know, most spoke you know, well spoken. That doesn't that's, not, that's besides we, the we point. We know Cyrus was not a believer. We know he was a Gentile king, and he was a king in the in the in the terms of Babylon and uh, the king of Babylon at one point. But here's what here's what God says in Isaiah forty four twenty eight. He says, "It is I," meaning the Lord Himself. Who says of Cyrus, he is my shepherd, and he will perform all my desires. I bring that to your attention because God uses whoever he wants to use. Here's a heathen king that God used to rebuild Jerusalem and rebuild the temple. Because God says, he is my servant. God chooses his servants as he pleases. And I believe he's chosen Donald Trump. Tim was saying some of the reasons to vote for Trump, and he said he's good to Christian. Do you know Trump was the most favorable uh, president to Christians, Bible-believing Christians, of any president in the last 50 years? Do you know that he stopped Obama's uh, uh, way of doing things where if you were a Christian and you applied for certain government support, uh, subsidies or certain programs that you were put to the end of the list if you were a Christian. Trump said, we're not going to do that in departments of, this, of the country. We're not going to do that in transportation. We're not going to do that in defense. We're not going to do that in the post office. We're not going to do that anymore. Anybody who has the qualifications, whether they're a Christian or not, can have a shot at the job. Mm -hmm. Under Obama, Christians were put at the end of the list and were told, hey, if they're a Christian, they shouldn't be getting the job. And with a final thought, I want to say this, as my grandpa wisely put before we got on. Uh, if Ahab and Jezebel, if you had a chance to vote against Ahab and Jezebel being king and queen over Israel, would you? Or would you simply say, oh, no, I don't get involved in politics? 
I think you need to reevaluate everything. And we're not asking you to go to war. We're ask, asking you to take out maybe an hour of your day and fill out a piece of paper, which is not hard. So with all due respect, get off your butt and go do it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, Lord. guys, we'll, to do it. we'll be praying that uh, God gives us mercy on election night. And uh, we may not know the results for a while, but thank you for tuning in. Send this to a friend who is not going to vote or has undecided yet. And so uh, God bless you all. Make sure you like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on the Timmy Tom Show. See you, Grandpa. See you, Tim. Bye-bye. Last thing I forgot to mention. Trump survived an assassination attempt. Literally took a bullet for our republic. So that type of man, when he gets up and says, fight, 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 that's the type of character you want. I believe God is humbling him. He's a friend of Christians, so please vote.